welcome back to Tell 10 TV. We're here in the kitchen today and I'm going to show you what to do with these beautiful farmer's market cherry tomatoes. And I'm just cutting them in half. Just like that. I mean, from, from that point, what we call the North Pole. And then I just take a little salt and I sprinkle them on there and I'll mix them in there. And what I'll, that'll do is the salt will draw out all that beautiful liquid. Now look in there. We're going to let these sit for a minimum of an hour, but you want to just really let them sit for about an hour before you use them. Because if, once they go a little too long, they'll start getting soggy. So another thing you can do is sort of take one clove of garlic for one pint of cherry tomatoes. And we're just going to smash that. And then chop that baby up. If there's garlic allergies, you don't need to use this. Take a pinch of salt, smash them down. But you don't even know it's there. I mean, some people go, I don't mind, the garlic chunk. Now, normally you make pizza with tomato sauce and cheese, so I'm going to show you one with just bacon and a little cherry tomatoes. Got a little pizza dough. And so this is just, you know, flour, water, a little olive oil, and the starter, no yeast. It has a really good tangy flavor. And we're taking a little bacon. And we got the tomatoes. Now you don't want a lot of the juice on the pizza here. You can save that for later. But the garlic uh, is going to be awesome. I always like to put a little pinch of salt on there. Normally sometimes I'll rub a little olive oil. But the bacon's going to produce enough sort of fat that it'll be, it'll be fine. A little pecorino. So that, that'll go about like seven, eight minutes. It'll be really good. Now look at that. See how that baby turned out? Fresh arugula. So you got beautiful juice from the tomatoes and fat from the bacon. Beautiful. One of my favorite things to eat. Same guys here. What I'm gonna do is add a little, I'm gonna add a little white wine vinegar to it. Not much, just a little. I roasted off some corn on the grill. Good grill marks on there. Break that in half. Now, you don't want to cut it like this, because it'll be a little dangerous. So what I like to do is sort of tell people to break it in half. So I'm gonna take some of this cherry tomato mix with the liquid, and I'm talking easy salad. It's really delicious at this point. What goes great with sort of marinated tomatoes with a little vinegar and olive oil? Fish. We got some beautiful sockeye salmon here. Just a little salt, a touch of olive oil, throw it in the pan, I'm popping this baby in the oven. Eight, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, depending on the play and how you like it done. So we got some, in here, I've got vinegar, we've got oil, we've got garlic. What else can we add to it to bring it out and it'll go really well with the fish? Oregano. And there's another trick to do with this is just to sort of add a little salt to that. It'll bring out those oils that are in the herbs. Plate here. I want to just pour it over. And that's it. And this is like hmm. perfect. Any fish too. Any fish. On Bill Telepan, that's summer cherry tomatoes. Three recipes that you can do. See you next time on Telepan TV.